open so all these are rather than fighting take take this pen so you are going to release it no Now, why do it will rotate 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 due to torque see what is a torque torque will produce rotational effect here so the moment i i release from rest then why do it rotate because of torque here and now sir about what point rotating about my fingers so all of you don't don't watch physics is not something like a history where you have to just fold your hands like this and you'll be seeing try to hold pen or pencil notebook hold like this and and release it this is what you have to do all the rigid bodies mechanics you are supposed to feel that particular thing not just like seeing things i have seen many of you like sitting and watching it's not a movie huh? you want to become engineer so you should experience all that one huh? so it should be like this huh? okay let's let's get into mathematics now and now which point i should define torque about any point now it is suspended about oh no so about which point it to rotate the 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 rod will rotate about oh only the rod will rotate about oh only so there's a diagram and i'll bring it here uh, no this is a diagram so let's start in this particular problem so now the weight mg will act a release from rest is telling then i'll define torque about o only so what is the length of the rod so this distance will be l by 2 this is l by 2 then there'll be acceleration and what direction angular acceleration like this alpha o if you are interested you can write alpha o or just write alpha about which axis the rod will rotate about axis passing through perpendicular to the plane so write alpha o and center of mass will accelerate then there will be reaction this one okay let's write first torque equation mg into torque about o should be equal to i o into alpha o. torque about o will set up mg into l by 2 moment of inertia ml square by 3 into alpha naught so what is alpha naught 3g by 2l then what is the acceleration of center of mass should be equal to l by 2 alpha this should be equal to how much no 3g by 4 then we'll write the equation mg minus ry is equal to mac this is m 3g by 4 so what is ry equal to mg minus 3mg by 4 so mg by 4 so why do that reaction will come look at the ac ac is how much 3g by 4 no <coughs> you want to ask me a question here no so why this uh, why not ac equal to g because only mg is acting no even the reaction will act here so like a, we will not uh, how do i come to know reaction will act or not again you should have the you should know the the general things about that one so you just take like this so when you when you release it you can feel some pain at your fingers huh? do, do notice so take some pen or some compass box you take it you can fill out notebook or something so the moment you release no i i'm holding it so I, i can feel some pain why pain because i i'm trying to balance it so now now the moment i release it no still i can feel some sort of the mobile is trying to pull my fingers down my fingers will try to pull up the mobile that, that's what happens here that's called like a reaction at the inch or what you can say in uh, our sense for fingers they'll experience a pain why pain mobile will exert force on the fingers fingers will exert force on the mobile there's a thing here so therefore what is ry ry is the force exerted by the inch on the rod by the rod on the inch will be downward <coughs> so definitely only force acting is not mg mg minus ry is the net force acting on it after some time yes the rod will start swinging it will come to this position 
then the weight mg does work <coughs> the weight mg it starts doing work here uh, when when it becomes vertical what conditions will arise so finally uh, let, let me put it here only no uh, finally the rod will become vertical no I'll, I'll show another diagram hmm? and when the rod becomes vertical now uh, what is the situation here now what conditions will be this and what is the state of the rod Hmm. I'll, I'll just show it this in this way. What are the various forces that will be acting on the rod? Shall I say that it will have angular velocity? Uh, how, from how it has acquired angular velocity, I think I'll yeah, let it be here. So this is the initial. Uh, the rod will have the angular velocity. The weight of the rod, mg, will act here. And there'll be a new reaction. R dash y, I'll call it. How to calculate this angular velocity? Who, who does work? The weight mg only. So how to calculate that angular velocity? So then what is the type of motion the rod will describe? The rod will describe a variable accelerated motion. Because as the rod starts swinging at different points, it will have the torque acting will be different here. No, so somewhere in this position. You, you look at the torque, uh, how much torque will act? Will be different. No, earlier MGL, but what about torque acting here? Will be different. So, what type of the motion the rod will describe? <coughs> Variable angular exerted motion. So, to avoid that mathematics, what I'll go for work NG theorem. Now, what is work done by reaction? Zero. So, only weight does work. So decrease in potential of the rod. How much potential of the rod will decrease? L by 2. So how much center of mass will descend? L by 2. That should be equal to increase in rotational kinetic energy of the rod. So 2 get cancelled. So this will be m L square by 3 omega. So what is omega? 3g by L. So when the rod becomes vertical, this much of angular speed it will have. Now what about the reaction? Now the reaction Ry dash should be equal to how much here? It should be equal to mg plus m omega square L by 2. Now why m omega square L by 2? Pseudo force will also act. Now why the pseudo force we have to show it? Now why the pseudo force we have to show it? Centrifugal force or, or the rod is swinging. So this is the pseudo force is what I'm writing it. This I'll call it as centrifugal force or R y dash minus m g should be equal to m omega square L by 2. It's left to you. If you are on the ground, if you are standing on the ground, then you should not write this equation. Where you are, if you are on the, at the axis, the person, yeah, this person will write it here. with respect to A. Then what about person? Person B is here. With respect to B, you should write like this. R Y dash minus M G equal to. Uh, this is very important. You should bring all the ideas what you learned. I, I'm making things clear. Uh, you should bring all the ideas what you had. So what is R Y dash? So the person B says rod swings. Rod moves in a circular path. Then R Y dash minus M G equal to this one. You say that centripetal force is given by the resultant of reaction in the inch minus weight. Person A says that the reaction in the inch is due to weight and the pseudo force. So this will be the centrifugal force you have to call. You have to call this as R Y dash minus M G centripetal force. 